can't see me now, you don't. Curry behind the back, flips up and in. You know, first and foremost, I have to thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for blessing me with the talents to play this game with the family um, to support me day in, day out. Um, I'm his humble servant right now, and um, I, it is, I can't say it enough how important you know, my faith is to, to how, how I play the game and who I am. So The meteoric rise of Steph Curry from a less fancied college player to becoming one of the greatest basketball players of all time is inspirational. And whilst his talent is obvious for everyone to see, we cannot overlook the role that his faith has played in his tremendous success. Join us as we explore the incredible story of Steph Curry, a young, unassuming man whose unshakable faith in God propelled him beyond the arc, not just in basketball, but in life. Born on March 14, 1988, Stephen Curry is celebrated as one of basketball's most gifted players. His father, Del Curry, enjoyed a successful NBA career from 1986 to 2002. So naturally, most people would assume that he had an easy path to becoming a superstar. But that wasn't the case. For starters, during his childhood, Curry was constantly taunted by other kids whenever he went to the gym. No matter what gym I walked into in high school, I would hear the student section on the other side shouting, Daddy can't help you, Curry said. On top of that, the basketball prodigy was mocked for his lack of height and physicality. As a freshman in high school, Steph Curry was about 5'7 and weighed 130 pounds. This fell short of the expected height and weight a high school basketball player should have. Recalling the period, Curry said he had to switch to the number 20 jersey because his favorite number 30 jersey was too big for him at the time. It was so bad that the Golden State's Warriors superstar admitted he had doubts about his chances of making it in college basketball. My freshman year, I had doubts about whether I could play on the varsity level back then, Curry recalled. One of my only regrets is not trying out for the varsity that year. But rather than get discouraged by these setbacks, Steph Curry completely turned the narrative, using the negativity as a springboard to achieve success, not only in basketball, but also his personal life. That taught me to go for it. To not let what people might tell you, no matter how short or skinny you might be, deter you from getting where you want to go. When it comes to his faith and spiritual growth, Curry admits that his mother, Sonia Curry, was very influential, especially in the early days. She made conscious efforts to instill discipline and provide all the necessary support, not only for Steph Curry, but also for his two siblings. I credit my mom a lot for showing us the way, Curry said. It kind of gave me the confidence to find out what that meant for myself. She led them to Christ at a very young age, organized devotion every morning and took them to church every Wednesday and Sunday. Over time, as Steph Curry grew, Sonia took it upon herself to recommend different Bible verses to him. But out of the numerous Bible verses she recommended, one verse that really stood out for the basketball genius was Romans 8 verse 28. My mom messaged over and over and over and over again, Romans 8 28, and that was the verse that she spoke life into me, Curry revealed. To me, that was something that I really believed. Whatever I put my mind to, whatever I decided, I was going to really work it and have that spirit of accomplishment. Despite Sonia's efforts, Steph Curry, for a long time, still saw Christianity and the need to attend church service as an obligation he had to fulfill because his parents wanted him to. However, he realized that at some point, he'd have to make that decision for himself. Eventually, this point of his life came after he listened to a life-changing message by a youth pastor. Being saved is a great feeling. What a night. The relationship with Jesus Christ started um, around middle school. Uh, my parents you know, had us in church every Sunday, every Wednesday. It was more a tradition at that point. Um, I didn't have a personal relationship with, with, with the Lord um, until one altar call on a Sunday. And you know, the youth pastor told us we needed to make a decision for ourselves. We couldn't rely on our parents. Um, it had to be a decision on our own, and, and that's when I made it. Speaking further about this spiritual encounter, Curry said, I felt a calling, went down to the altar, and gave my life to Christ. That became the beginning of my own personal journey. Before we go into Steph Curry's personal faith journey and how it spurred him on to become a basketball star, please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to our Christian Celebrities channel to watch more interesting videos like this one uploaded every week. 
Led by faith and intuition, Curry opted to attend Davidson College, a small school that isn't particularly known for its basketball program. Nonetheless, Curry shone like a million stars during his time there. He exceeded all expectations and led one of the all-time great underdog March Madness runs. By 2009, the Ohio-born basketball star had caught the attention of the world, and eventually, he was selected as the seventh draft by the Golden State Warriors. Coming into the NBA, Steph Curry was expected to continue his fine form from college and set the NBA on fire. However, his early NBA career was marred by recurring ankle injuries, and there were concerns about whether or not he could play in the league. Many analysts also pointed out his small stature and how this could affect his game. In this period, Curry's faith was tested, and the six-foot three-point guard admits this was the hardest thing he's had to deal with. I had to deal with um, battling through injuries, especially just starting out my basketball career. To be dealing with injuries is not, it's a tough thing, especially when you're going through surgery and this and that. So uh, it was a, definitely a, a down period in my life, and one that I didn't know how, it, you know, what the outcome would be, and one that also drew me closer to, to Christ. In the end, Steph Curry overcame the recurring injuries and emerged as one of the shining lights in the league. Today, with four NBA rings and three MVPs, Curry is regarded as one of the best players in NBA history and perhaps the greatest three-point shooter the game has ever seen. Yet, despite the fame and enormous accolades, he remains humble and has continued to attribute his success to his faith and personal relationship with God. My faith is about the personal relationship, more so than following a certain religious tradition or practice, Steph Curry said. It challenges you to make sure that you are feeding your spirit with the right things versus what the world is throwing at us. It's a constant battle. If I say I have it down, I'd be lying. In everything he does, Steph Curry always tries to maintain a close relationship with God. According to the Golden State's Warrior Superstar, he utilizes every opportunity he has to communicate with God and live out with his faith. I strive to be myself, live out my faith, continue to learn, and not be afraid of that higher calling. I feel there's a responsibility to that, and I own it," Curry explained. Beyond living out his faith, Curry also does everything he can to amplify the message of faith, even while playing on the court. For this reason, a phrase in the Bible that says, I can do all things, is written on his sneakers. Explaining the reasoning behind this act, the superstar basketball player said, it represents a Bible verse I wear on my shoe. Curry said, Philippians 4.13. It says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. It's also my mantra, how I get up for games and why I play the way I do. According to Curry, he made the decision to wear the verse on his sneakers after his mom challenged him. My mom challenged me to find a verse that I could rely on to give me strength give me a sense of purpose and to remember who I was playing for every time I lace up my sneakers," Curry said. It reminds me why I am blessed with these talents, where I get my strength from, and who I am playing for. It's amazing to see how much a person's faith can influence their success in life. However, in Steph Curry's case, it's even more special because, for the intervention of the Holy Spirit, he may not have been born. During an interview with Pastor Luke Norsworthy, Sonia Curry made a remarkable claim that she almost aborted Steph Curry during her pregnancy. However, she had a change of mind after an inspiring encounter with the Holy Spirit. But when it got to really the nuts and bolts of making certain decisions like I was faced with, there could be no Stefan, she said. If I would have gone through that, there would have been no Wardell Stephen Curry too. And you know, God has a plan for that child. Thankfully, she listened to that inner voice of reasoning and basketball fans across the world are forever grateful for it. While Steph Curry has enjoyed a purple patch for most part of his career, he has also had to endure some really difficult times. He's faced trials and tribulations, and of course, his faith has been tested many times on and off the court. Still, he has remained focused and committed to his faith even more than ever. My faith is tested on the court as much as it is in life, Curry said. It's the part that always keeps me focused on what I need to do when it comes to my family, when it comes to my job, when it comes to how I treat other people, my appreciation for life and all the good things that happen and how to deal with the bad things that happen. So 
So now, every time Steph Curry steps on the court, every time he makes a shot, he tries to spread the message of faith and salvation in his own little way. I try to use each and every game as a, an opportunity to witness. I do a, a little signal every time I, I uh, make a shot as a way to kind of just preach the message in little ways that I can. So uh, each game is an opportunity to, to be on a, a great stage and uh, you know, to be a witness for Christ. Regardless of which lens you choose to look at it from, Steph Curry's faith story is quite inspirational. I mean, on one hand, it proves that nobody is too big to spread the message of faith and hope. On the other hand, it tells us that no matter our current religious beliefs, we can still find purpose, peace, success, and salvation by building a solid relationship with God and His Son, Jesus Christ, and, above everything else, following His principles to the latter.